Everyone knows that the gangster life is about being a rock star and living a lavish life. All the gangster rap songs revolve around doing drugs, violence, and gangs. We all enjoy listening to alternative hip-hop and rap songs, but rarely ever think that the lyrics might have some truth to them. However, you'd be surprised to know that some rappers have actually been accused of taking someone's life. I bet this changes the whole meaning of some of your favorite songs for you. Let's find out which rappers were being literal in their songs. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at some rappers that are killers. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. The genre of hip-hop and rap is associated with criminal behavior and having a fearful personality. We hear rappers bragging about how many drugs they're doing and how much money they spend on a daily basis. All rap videos include a wide range of the world's top models, partying with the rappers, and having a good time. The genre of rap is also famous for the best diss tracks that have ever been released. All hip-hop artists are used to talking a big game and about how gangsta they are, but most of the time, we hear lyrics about guns, gang violence, and killing someone, and it's hardly taken seriously. At the end of the day, it's just a song and it's all about storytelling. But what if the songs are inspired by real-life events? The rap world is full of the music industry's boogeymen. These people are usually feared by the public and have a scary reputation. We all know about the rap scandal leading up to the rapper Tupac's death. However, Suge Knight had an extensive criminal record. He has been arrested countless times and is currently serving time at federal prison. When the rapper Tupac Shakur was murdered in cold blood, it brought a lot of spotlight to the actual world of rap. All the fans were devastated and the evidence pointed towards a gang rivalry. When the public found out that hip-hop artists were involved in shady deals and associated with gangs, it shook everyone to their core. No one wants to know that their favorite artist is guilty of something as heinous as murder. What about all the internationally acclaimed rappers that have been acquitted of murder? Sure, it's common to have a criminal record in the hip-hop industry and have some felony charges against you, but taking someone else's life is a different matter. Let's see which rappers are real-life killers. Snoop Dogg it's impossible to be a part of pop culture and not be familiar with Snoop Dogg's name. He has received international fame and has become an integral part of the hip-hop world. Snoop Dogg has collaborated with some of the biggest music stars. He's often referred to as the fun uncle of rap. He is known for not only his music, but his one-of-a-kind personality. The man has had weed-smoking sessions with so many Hollywood celebrities and even Martha Stewart couldn't stay away. He has been one of the most famous rappers for as long as we can remember. But most of us know little to nothing about his private life or his criminal record. He spent most of his childhood on the streets and was part of the gang Rollin' 20 Crips. When he was working on his debut album and trying to pave his way to success, Snoop found himself in a grisly scandal. In August 1993, Snoop had some altercations with a rival gang and later pulled up in front of them. Snoop Dogg was in the car with his bodyguard Malik. One of the rival gang members got up and stared at both of them. The bodyguard got out of the car and stared back. However, the gang member felt intimidated and tried to reach for his gun. The bodyguard was quick on his feet and fired the gun at the gang member. Snoop got scared and drove away in his jeep, but later turned himself in because of the immense guilt. Snoop and Malik told the jury they were acting in self-defense. After a long battle, both Snoop and Malik were acquitted of all the murder charges. King Vaughn This Chicago native spent most of his life in the most dangerous streets of the city. He was surrounded by gang violence and joined the gang Black Disciples to receive any kind of protection. King Vaughn was no stranger to getting in trouble, but as he grew up, the problems got more serious. Vaughn was at a house party in 2014 when he noticed a guy, Malcolm Stuckey, intensely staring at him. Vaughn pointed out that the guy was eyeballing him and made a plan to set him straight. He showed up at his place with a few friends and was armed with weapons after the party ended. Vaughn didn't hesitate and started shooting at the three people in front of him. Malcolm Stuckey and his friend tried to run but were shot on the street. Malcolm later passed away due to a gunshot wound while the other two survived. There were a lot of witnesses who saw what went down at the party. However, King Vaughn's friend Michael Wade took all the responsibility and charges against Vaughn were dropped. Gucci Mane Gucci Mane is one of the most successful hip-hop artists but even during the peak of his career, he didn't stay away from trouble. He got into a feud with another rapper, Young Jeezy, and they were both throwing out diss tracks at each other. Jeezy released a song and put out a bounty on Gucci Mane's famous ice cream cone chain. Jeezy claimed to pay anyone who handed him the chain a payment of $10,000, but some fans took it seriously and showed up at Gucci Mane's place and attacked him. He tried to fight back and reach for his gun and ended up shooting one of the guys. The guy named Henry Clark died on the spot. His body was discovered a few days later near his school. Cops were out to arrest Gucci Mane when he turned himself in. He was later released on a $100,000 bail. However, he said he acted in self-defense and due to a lack of evidence, the charges were eventually dropped. 
Gucci Mane bragged about being an actual murderer in his diss track called Truth. So maybe the violent and horrifying lyrics of our favorite hip hop songs won't feel the same after learning about the real life lives of rappers. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you find this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates. And until then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.